Hey there, everyone. Today I'm going to do a live and probably, probably weekly I'll do these types of lives, but it is on boosting your immune health and how important it is to have strong immune health because uh, truth be told, today's diseases are created in a lab and thrown at you. So who knows what it is that uh, you're trying to protect yourself from next but it's very important to stay healthy. So what I'll be talking today is on the health benefits of quercetin. Um, it is a strong antiviral, so it helps to keep your um, immune system healthy. What it is, is it's a flavonoid, and it is found in, um, it's also food pigment, and it's found uh, abundantly in your food, and it is a super antioxidant and it really helps to boost your immune system. And as I said, it is a antiviral, so it's going to help protect you from getting viruses, colds, and flu, or if you do get it, it, you're going to be able to fight it faster and get over it quicker if you're eating foods rich and abundant in um, this flavonoid, which is quercetin. And the foods that you're going to find that in is, um, as I said, it's a food pigment, so foods that are going to be dark pigmented, such as dark berries like cherries and blueberries and blackberries and uh, elderberries and grapes, in fact, like the dark, the dark uh, grapes as well. And um, you're going to find it in cilantro and watercress and radicchio and red lettuce. You're also going to find it in red peppers and um, if you like it hot, serrano peppers, uh, red onions are full of quercetin, uh, let's see, asparagus and okra and all kinds of food like that. Also um, spinach and olive oil has got a lot of quercetin in, in it as well as teas, black teas, green teas, especially uh, matcha because matcha is a concentrated form of green tea, one of my favorite teas to drink, in fact, and so that's also high in quercetin. Coffee also, if you like coffee, it's in there as well. Um, so um, as well as being an anti-inflammatory, it is a super antioxidant, so, or, or which makes it an anti-inflammatory. So um, it is going to help in anti-aging, and also anti-pain that is has to do with inflammatory inflammation, um, and um, because inflammation causes oxidation of your cell and, and rusting of your cells, basically. So you want to be eating those foods high in quercetin, um, and also the inflammation causes um, any of the diseases that inflammation is going to cause, like hardening of the arteries or high cholesterol or insulin resistance. Um, uh, heart diseases. Uh, so quercetin is going to help reduce all of those inflammatory type diseases. It is an anti-carcinogen, so it helps you to avoid getting cancer as well. It is also an antihistamine, so um, uh, it was going to help you with food allergies, um, asthma, uh, hay fever, it's going to help to reduce all of those effects of anything that is an allergen. It is also a neuroprotectant, so um, it helps to any neurological diseases, it's going to help to protect you from that. Ginkgo biloba is full of quercetin, so it helps um, to protect your brain uh, because of its neuroprotectant qualities. Um, if you want to take it in a supplement form, you find a lot of it in your food, but as we all know, if our foods aren't as high in these nutrients anymore, so you can also get it in supplement form. And when you do get it in supplement form, um, you can take it anywhere from 500 to 1,000 milligrams, but you also want to be sure that it is combined with like vitamin C or bromelain because it makes it more um, bioavailable to you and um, more uh, absorbent. So uh, that's very important. You want to, to uh, be making sure every day that you're doing something to boost your immune health. So what you eat is very important. All the colors of the rainbow, um, you're going to find more nutrients in your food. So I hope you found that useful today. Have a great Monday and I'll see you next time.